Hello Aquarius. Welcome to Tarot by Cecilia on Patreon. This is your monthly tarot guidance for the month of October 2016. Finally, right? I've been talking about October forever. So let's talk about what's going on this month, shall we? On the 6th, Mercury leaves shadow. This is your all systems go. Okay? It comes to cars, Boats, trains, planes, whatever it is you want to do. Travel plans. You remember Jupiter's in your long distance travel sector this year. Okay. You have so much going on. Um, maybe you want a new phone, a new car. You can do it now. Oh, or at least after the 6th. Okay. On the 7th, Mercury enters Libra. And it's going to start moving faster now. You'll see it change signs every couple of weeks. On the 16th. There's a full moon in Aries. On the 18th, Venus enters Sagittarius. On the 22nd is where we get our shift in the month. The sun will enter Scorpio. On the 24th, Mercury will enter Scorpio. And the month ends with a new moon in Scorpio on the 30th. So what's going on, Aquarius? As this month begins, right, you're coming right off. A big change in energy, plus the new moon in Libra, which was the best new moon of the year that happened on the 30th of September. So as the month begins, so does a transition for you. You know, I've been kind of saying all along that October was the month where you entered a new phase. Here you are. Okay. Things are about to get interesting. They're about to start moving. There's, you know, some things that I look at here, and I don't want to get personal regarding particular people, so it's difficult to describe. But, you know, there are certain bonds that people have, you know, with one another. I even want to say like a mother-child bond, that type of thing. And there's a change that's there. But it's also a change that leads to movement. It's like you knew this moment was coming. And I'm not sure what that moment is, all right? It's been a really difficult time. But the universe also says it's time for things to change. You know, your belief system is changing as well. And I find that interesting. All right, the sense that I get here is that there are some things that have just been a certain way for a long time, you know. The status quo, as we like to call it, and it's decision time. But, you know, how do you feel about things? Because you're, you're coming into this new phase, and I have a feeling that you're looking at things differently. If I was to ask you five years ago, you know, any Aquarius that I know, they'd have been like, uh, no, not me. That's not happening. You feel different now. Okay. You're looking at things differently. So, you know, how I've been saying, take your time, whatever this is about, because it feels like it's about your life, how you want to lead it. And you've probably been doing a lot of sacrificing in some area, but there are some things coming your way that are positive and, you know, in which to rejoice. Let's put it that way, where finally you feel like, you know, the universe is, I want to say cooperating, because it's interesting where you can make new plans, positive plans. Wow. See, this is a big shift for you. I'm telling you, it comes in with the new moon where, you know, Full moons normally bring endings, and new moons are the beginnings of things. It's sort of all tied up together for you in this one. You know, like closing a door, opening a door, a new transition. So it's an amazing time. I also see a lot of people around you. Um, not necessarily close, maybe some of them are, but people that you can have a good time with. And there's certainly nothing wrong with that, you know. So your social life is not lacking in that respect. 
you know, whether, you know, it's being out and about or it's, uh, you know, what I want to say around the home with family. But there, there's a little bit of, see, I get the feeling here that for a while something was lacking in that area. But there's a strong bond forming somewhere with someone. So if you're an Aquarius who's not attached, is this a love thing? Or is this just, a, I don't know, we'll call it like a mutual admiration society thing going on. It can be any of those, right? But I get the sense that there is like definitely someone there that you have a connection with. And that's a good thing because, you know, when it comes to like this year with Jupiter being in Libra, you are meant to meet new people, okay? Have new conversations. How else can you do all of the things that you're supposed to do? You know, life, in other words, life is not stagnant. And when you get to this month, I feel like, you know, that's it. it it's time for it to start moving along. And, you know, I'm not so sure you're 100% aware as things are happening. Like a casual conversation can turn into something, can turn into something. Do you know what I'm saying? But I don't mean, like I said, I don't necessarily mean a love relationship. I think that, you know, sometimes you meet people who make your brain work better. You know, when you start talking to them and ideas Things are being exchanged because I'm seeing this equal banter back and forth. And this other person apparently has things to say that are good for you because where you've had areas that there have been struggles, I think that they show you a way to rebuild. I don't even know what that means. Okay. But I'm looking at it and it makes sense when I'm looking at it. All right. So... You're kind of, I i don't mean to laugh, but you're kind of like, you know, should should I wear the, the evening gown or should I wear the night gown? Where are we going? It, I, I don't know why I'm saying that. It's like just a little bit of silliness that's there, but it's nice because there's this easygoing kind of feeling. So I don't know if you make a new friend along the way. But somebody that you can just be yourself, be silly, don't have to wear a mask. You know that old saying that we have about the, the three-month rule and when you meet people, I think you get to be you. And that's a good thing, all right? Because sometimes in life, you know, I mean, like if you act, you have to be somebody else. But yeah, there's this like, okay, who do I want to be today? What costume do I want to wear? There's something that's going on there. And when we refer to the whole long distance travel thing, I don't necessarily see a whole lot of that this month. Because I think whatever change is coming in has you starting to refocus on this new phase. Okay, but if you found yourself in a port town and, you know even if it was just for a day, enjoy it, okay? Because it kind of kind of reminds me of a day trip kind of thing. Go somewhere, come back again, that type of thing. Because really, you know, there have been too many things at the moment that you've had to survive in order to get to your goals. You know what? You're, you're getting there. You're getting there and you're working your way toward them. And you're being shown the way. This is interesting because it's in a very positive manner. There's, you know, I want to say it's a renewal of hope for you that comes through. I, I really feel like it's someone, I mean, you could already kind of know them, but like, it's like you get to know them better. And I think they really help you out. I don't know who it is. I don't know what aspect of your life they impact. But I think that your plans, your things that you want to do, become so much more favored. And I'm like, wow. So Aquarius, what is your vision? Okay. 
um, I don't know how to put this because so many words want to come out of my mouth right now. Whether this is in an entrepreneurial aspect or something else, it's like, do you feel, I, I want to use the word silly. Like, you know, I do this, but boy, I'd like to do that. Hmm. I, you know, I have to tell you, you can light your own way and you can do it all through hard work. There's something that comes in. And I'm telling you, people that you meet, this is so important. It helps illuminate things for you. But your hard work is really what gets you to where you need to be. Now, with regard to, see, there's there's that little bit of, I want to call it hesitancy. All right. That I want to take a chance at this, but I'm just not quite sure. I know that there's, it, see, sometimes life can hold you back. You know what I'm saying? You have to be a responsible individual. You have to do this. You have to do that. You know, it's like the whole routine of everything that's going on. But it doesn't mean your vision always jives with the routine. And so how do you want to approach this? What is it you really want to do? It's out there. It's yours for the taking. And you're like, I do believe I can do this. I do believe I can make it happen. It doesn't matter if it's a new business approach and something that you want to do, you know, to make your business more rewarding. Something's, something's going on here. It really helps balance things out. And, you know, what are you hoping for? What are you wishing for? Because it can be part of your future. It's amazing. But the thing of it is here, Aquarius, you need to know exactly what it is that you want. Absolutely. Now, I have to tell you, okay, I have a lot of people contact me for personal readings. And when I look at this, you know, one of the things that I see is, like, there's more than one thing that you're really, really good at. But that doesn't mean that in order to have one, you have to give up another. Sometimes you have to balance that out and work back and forth. You're actually meant to do both. Okay. There is nothing wrong with that at all. And you need to remember that. So well, you're in this new phase and you're meant to take your time to figure it out. So don't be trying to go all one way or the other or I don't think it will work. Now, around the 10th of the month, and I've mentioned this on almost every single one, it's Columbus Day in the United States. It's Thanksgiving in Canada. And it's around that time frame. When I think you're really, really giving some thought because something, something has happened. You know, like one of your wishes, okay, has been an interesting 10, 12 days for you. So one of your wishes has, you know, surfaced and you're thinking about the future. What do you want? Like, really, what do you want? I mean, this is, it's not as much like I want to call it decision time. It is decision time. But what part of the status quo do you want to let go? What part's stressful? And, you know, what do you want to do? So there's a lot of information that's going to be coming your way this month. And I almost feel like it's a, situ a situation that you've risen above where it was difficult for a long time. And, you know, it wasn't like you went out and were fighting, but I think there were times when it left you feeling defeated because there is nothing that you could do about it. You know, like when something's totally out of your power, but you're you're starting to geez i want to use the word regenerate and i don't know why it's just a whole new you that's starting to emerge like you're finding this new niche for yourself and it feels good it really feels good like you're starting to enjoy it i think you're enjoying relationships most definitely like the people that you surround yourself with you know, that whole sharing and caring and, you know, 
they influence your choices, most definitely. But I do feel that there are some huge shifts in the relationship dynamic which are taking place. Hmm. All right. Now, it, it, this this part, I, I want to say it troubles me a little bit, but no. Okay. It's like you, like everyone else, you just want to be happy. But, but there's something, something that, you know, whether you want to use the word stresses you out, bothers you, mm, you're, you're getting ready to get past that in order to achieve the happiness that you want. And I think that's coming in less than a year. You're finding your way to that. Okay. Because, you know, the success that you're looking for with some of the opportunities that you're trying to manifest, that's going to take some time. It's not that they don't happen. I mean, things kind of keep happening along the way. Do you know what I'm saying? But I think that peer recognition that feels really, really good is a little bit further out there. What's interesting that I see here is you trying to balance things out between the mental and the emotional. You know, that's difficult. What the heart wants and what the mind knows, it's that type of a thing. Well, you know, I'm looking at this and I've got the new moon, the full moon, and then the other new moon at the end of the month. I almost think it's probably the end of the month. There's something here. I think it's uh, in the form of a loss. Okay, I, trying to, boy, this is just tough to even talk about. Like, I, I want to say trying to conceal your emotions. Uh, that's not an easy thing to do. All right, it really truly isn't. Because it seems like you're you're at the verge of, like, creating something. And then something else happens. Uh, and, you know, it is cause for worry. It is cause for concern. Because, you know, like, here you are over here having a good time. And then something comes along to kind of, I want to use the word jolt things a little bit. And, you know, it's okay. Take that time. Take that moment grieve what needs to be grieved and put put on I, I want to say put on your best face and go out and do what you have to do and uh, it's an unusual way to I want to say to end the month but then again to me you're one of the more unusual signs and this is definitely a month that brings with it a lot of transition and a lot of change that's coming into your life whether it's planned or not it's there and you know I think that's what I said it it involves a, you know trying to balance emotion and you know what the heart wants what the mind wants often conflicting so you have a very busy month ahead of you, Aquarius. I don't think you can honestly say it's going to be this way. I, I think you just need to go with your plan and learn to have a plan B, C, D, or D, whatever it is, as you're going along. And it just, it's going to be an interesting one for sure. But I think you're ready to make some necessary changes, and they're in your best interest. So, I want to thank you for listening, and I'll see you here again next month. Take care.